Dios. Y lo And then I got something really exciting. Hello everyone, so I'm on my way to the gym, as you can see, um, it's so bloody freezing, honestly, I've got my heated seat on, that's how cold it is, it's only 8 degrees, it's ridiculous, we had such a lovely hot weather and now it's freezing and I've put all my clothes, my winter ones, all my coats, warm jackets in a loft, and I'm freezing so I don't go anywhere <laughs> I'm gonna just hibernate in my house till it gets warm um, I was reading your comments today on my last Monday video about what a great job I did with my hair well I didn't really so the hair drama continues so what you saw um, at the end of the video when I did my hair I only put like three or four foils in my parting where just to do the root and that didn't come out too bad but then I looked and I thought well I have a blonde up to here and then on the crown of my hair it's a bit dark you know at the back so I thought well I put a few more here at the back and of course the the further you go to the back, the less you can see what you are doing. So um, I put a few foils in there. Obviously, I didn't weave it properly. Oh my God, it's really bad road works here. I didn't weave it properly, so they came out more like thick slices. And of course, if your hair is thicker, it's gonna take longer to process to go whiter. So it's gone a bit yellow. It looks like a splodge on the top of my head like a bird's poop um, and I thought oh my god why did I touch it? it's too yellow now I will tone it so you know I've shown you those shades EQ and um, I made the concoction and I put it all over my hair and I was watching it but it's very hard to do it yourself and know what you're doing you think that you've watched a few videos and you know what you are doing believe me you don't there is a reason hairdressers go to school to learn that crap <laughs> so um, I basically overtoned my hair I didn't take into consideration that when I had my hair done at the hairdresser they've already toned it so I made it so dark and so dull and grey and it was just horrible so then I was panicking, I thought, oh my God, so I went back on YouTube, how do you deal with overprocessed hair? <laughs> so I saw lots of videos where you have to uh, use clarifying shampoo or the Dawn dish soap and you wash your hair with that and then you put lemon on your hair. So I did that and it's brightened up a bit, but it's still quite dull so I am not touching my hair myself again um, I don't know if I'm gonna ask my hairdresser to come and fix it or I just will wait till June about June yeah I should have my hair done again and just have it done properly then I think I, I should do that I should just leave it because I don't know what possessed me my problem is I don't have any patience if I want something, I want it now. I'm going to be doing um, like all the skincare video updates. You know, I've, I sort of around January, February, I started using new products, you know, like I stopped using Retin-A and started using the Ord Ordinary Retinoid, the Ole Eye Cream, uh, the Sensica Sensilift um, Facial um, contraption um, so I've got just one more session of that sensi lift to do because they say you should do it eight sessions first like one a week and then just once a month and um, 
I've got some video footage that I've taken before that so I will try to compare it and see um, if all these things made a difference I feel it did especially around my eyes and um, a lot of you are asking me well few of you ask me have I done something to my eyes and I think that all these things that I've been doing have definitely tightened um, the skin around my eyes so um, but I'm, I'm curious to see as well because when I take the video now without makeup and like compare the two we will see if there is any significant difference okay my gorgeous people I'm gonna turn you off now and turn on my music so I can get myself in a mood for another session of torture I see you later God. <laughs> um, hello my lovelies, uh, Paul is taking me to my PO box which is nice because normally there's nowhere to park so he can always just drop me off and drive around, see what I've got in there and when I get back I will show it to you if there is anything in there. <laughs> Okay, so I am back. So what I had in my box, I got um, a couple of serums from Skin Deva, vitamin C and ferulic acid. You know, this is like my must have and I've run out. So thank you so much to Skin Deva. Um, I don't live without it. So this is like the very first thing that goes onto my face in the morning. So that's that and then they also send me the matrixyl synth with hyaluronic acid. Thank you very much Skin Deva. I have like a permanent discount for you for Skin Deva serums. Um, they are really good and they are relatively inexpensive. I also got, do you remember when I went to Scotland and my friend curled my hair with this funny contraption I just received something like that from Irresistible Me that's the Moonstone Curler you know it's one of those where you stick your hair in and automatically um, wind your hair inside but this one is a bit different because this one is steam one um, yeah it's a steam one so you pour some water in here. I suppose that's healthier for your hair. So the heat comes from steam and I suppose that it, um, doesn't dry out your hair as much. So I'm gonna make myself more familiar with it and um, I will do a video curling my hair with that. And then I got something really exciting but I will have to do a separate video about that. Um, this is from the um, this is from the uh, social network solutions do you remember I get um, sometimes before Christmas or Easter those big hampers so let me show you I got summer beauty hamper so it's whole box of this lovely stuff but I will do a separate video because I have to have a look what's in there so I can tell you about each company. I love these boxes because um, you can discover companies that you didn't know about or products from companies that you know but you maybe don't know so much about the products. I love receiving those um, and so I can share them with you as well. So you can see my hair a bit better now where it all's gone a bit yellow and the 
toner has washed off the bit but it's still quite dull so I'm not going to talk about my hair anymore. Okay my darlings, I better go and I see you another day. Good morning, it's not even morning, it's afternoon. Um, so, um, I've got a busy afternoon so I work this morning and now I have to go to a recycling centre. I've got a car full of cardboard boxes and rubbish. So I need to get rid of that. Then I have to go to the supermarket because we have a friends coming over for a barbecue tomorrow. It looks like it's going to be a wonderful weekend. Then on Monday, we are going to Paul Sisters for, for a barbecue. So yeah, it's, it's a busy weekend. Okay, recycling done. Now, supermarket. Also, I think I might go later and buy some begonias for my garden. You know, I told you in one of the Monday's videos that I was going to go and get some plants, but we didn't manage to do that. And then week after that, the weather was awful. So, we didn't do it. And... It's May now, so it's time that I've planted something and my garden needs some colour. So I might do that. Hay is looking terrible, but I'm going to wash it tomorrow, so it'll just have to do. Right, I think I'm going to get a couple of these. I'll look at these oh. right so I just want oh I want now two of these So the job is done, I've planted all my begonias, this is New Guinea Busy Lizzy, not many but now just pray for them to grow nice and big, they're gonna look lovely in a couple of weeks. <laughs> 